with his mama Anna Penosule from Fort Lucina. Okay, today I would like to present about this chapter 7 in biology which is cellular dispersion. In this chapter, they have divided to three subtopics. First, production energy. Second, aerobic expression. The last one, fermentation. Okay. Previously, in the chapter 5, we have learned about metabolism and enzyme, right? So you must know about catabolism and anabolism. Function catabolism is to release energy. Meanwhile, function anabolism is to use energy. So, this energy are important to make cellular dispersion to occur. Okay. So, what is cellular dispersion? Cellular dispersion is an oxidation process of organic molecules through the several stages to release energy. So, what is this? Uh, organic molecule that is tada glucose the glucose is the main substrate for cellular respiration process why glucose chemical energy found in glucose is released to produce energy that are required by cell there are two types of cellular respiration the first is aerobic respiration second anaerobic anaerobic respiration what is the difference between these two Anaerobic expression will occur in the presence of oxygen. Meanwhile, anaerobic expression will occur in the absence of oxygen. That's it for my part. I will pass this floor to Muhammad Dawis bin Muhammad Saleh. So we will continue about 7.2 which is aerobic respiration. So what is actually aerobic respiration? Aerobic respiration is the breakdown of glucose involving oxygen to produce chemical energy. Oxygen is used to oxidize glucose to produce carbon dioxide, water and energy. The aerobic respiration process begins with glycolysis process. Glycolysis means the breakdown of glucose by enzymes. This process occurs in the cytoplasm. One glucose molecule is broken down into two pyruvate molecules. The following process occurs in the mitochondria. Pyruvate produced from glycolysis is then oxidized through a series of reactions to produce carbon dioxide, water, and energy. A large amount of this energy is used to produce adenosine triphosphate ATP molecules. In the glycolysis process, glucose is break down into pyruvate and it occurs in the cytoplasm. While in the oxidation of pyruvate, Pyruvate is break down into carbon dioxide plus water plus energy and it occurs in the mitochondria. The aerobic respiration is simplified as follows. ATP molecules are produced when a group of non-organic phosphate is added to adenosine disphosphate ADP. ATP molecules have weak phosphate links. When the phosphate links on ATP molecules are broken, the energy release is supplied to cells to help us carry out our daily activities. The complete process of glucose oxidation is simplified as follows. Assalamualaikum, my name is Alia. I'm in for Alfaro B. Okay, uh, I'm standing here is to share and tell you about the subtopic of chapter 7, which is fermentation. 7.3 Fermentation What is fermentation? Fermentation is the incomplete breakdown of glucose in the conditions of limited oxygen or without oxygen. Second, fermentation is different from aerobic respiration in its metabolic pathway after the glycolysis stage. Then, the pyruvate produced will undergo either alcohol fermentation or lactic acid fermentation. Next, fermentation is divided into two types which is alcohol fermentation and lactic acid fermentation. Alcohol fermentation also divided into two types which is yeast and plants. Alcohol fermentation, the incomplete breakdown of glucose to ethanol, carbon dioxide, and energy. Glucose will produce ethanol plus carbon dioxide and energy, 210 kJ. The first type of alcohol fermentation is yeast. Ethanol is used in the making of beer and wine. 
while the released carbon dioxide makes bread dough rise. The last part is plants, which is paddy plants, regular plants that live in waterlogged areas for a long period of time will die due to fermentation. The low concentration of oxygen in the waterlogged areas causes the plant to carry out alcohol fermentation. Ethanol is formed as a waste product. Unfortunately, this substance is poisonous, so a plant can only respire in this way for a short time before the ethanol concentration builds up and kills the plant cell. Fortunately, cells in the root of paddy plants are extremely tolerant of ethanol compared to the cell from other species. Ethanol is normally toxic to cells but for paddy plants, it will produce plenty of alcohol dehydrogenase enzymes in their cells that can break down ethanol molecules into non-toxic carbon dioxide. So hence, paddy plants can survive in waterlogged areas. Another type of fermentation is lactic acid fermentation. What is meant by lactic acid fermentation? It is the breakdown of glucose into lactic acid and energy. As you can see, this is the chemical equation for lactic acid fermentation. Lactobacillus will carry out fermentation on sugars such as glucose, sucrose in order to produce sour tasting food such as yogurt, cheese, kimchi and sour bread. We take yogurt as an example. Lactobacillus will carry out milk fermentation and then turn it into lactic acid. The lactic acid will coagulate with milk protein to produce yogurt. Now, let's move on to human muscle cells. Human muscle cells carry out lactic acid fermentation if the oxygen supply is insufficient. The supply of oxygen is unable to meet the demand of the muscle cells. Thus, the muscle undergoes oxygen death. During this process, each glucose is broken down only to ATP or 150 kJ we produce. Then, how is the oxygen that repair? All the lactic acid is expelled when the person breathes deeply and rapidly to obtain ample amount of oxygen. After that, the excess oxygen will oxidize the lactic acid into carbon dioxide, water, and energy. That's how it's be done. Now, let's take a look at the differences between aerobic respiration and fermentation. For the oxygen consumption, Aerobic respiration uses oxygen, but fermentation does not. Second, the location. Aerobic respiration happens in cytoplasm and mitochondria, but for the fermentation, it happens in cytoplasm. Third, the glucose breakdown. Aerobic respiration breaks down glucose completely, but for the fermentation, it does not. Fourth, end product of respiration. Carbon dioxide, water, and energy produced during aerobic respiration, but lactic acid and energy produced during lactic acid fermentation. Meanwhile, ethanol, carbon dioxide, and energy produced during alcohol fermentation. Last but not least, total energy produced. 2,898 kJ energy per mole of glucose produced at the end of the aerobic respiration by 210 kJ per mole of glucose produced at the end of alcohol fermentation. Meanwhile, 150 kJ per mole of glucose produced at the end of lactic acid fermentation. That's all from us. Thank you.